We are building a data warehouse from scratch. In the previous two videos, we saw the project introduction, we saw a project overview. In the third part of this video series, we'll actually start building a dimension model. Then we'll move into our staging area, we'll create some database objects, and then we'll create load scripts to load those database objects. In the dimension model, there are conceptual mod data model, logical data model, and a physical data model. As part of this project, I'll be focusing purely on the physical data model. So we'll go through the dimension model first. We'll create a dimension model to include dimension and fact tables. Then we'll focus into the staging areas. So whatever data we are getting from the source, we dump into some tables which present in the, our staging area. After that, once the staging tables are loaded, we create our database objects in EDW layer, which are primarily the dimensions and fact table. These tables are then loaded using staging area tables and the data coming from source. Once the EDW tables are created, we create a load script. The load script can be an ETL load script for daily run. It can be an incremental run. It can be a one-time load for the static tables like date dimensions and time dimensions. So let's proceed with dimension modeling. If you can recall, we got four files from the source, pizza types, pizzas, order details, and orders. Taking this as a reference, we can start working on building our data model for our data warehouse. Right now, it's a pizza store chain and they are selling pizzas, but in future, they may add more products to it. So what I believe is that maybe we can change the pizza and pizza type tables to product to make it more generic and to cater to the future needs to include more products other than pizzas. Also, what I believe is we can merge this pizza and pizza types tables into one single table in our RDBMS and we'll see in the first iteration how the data looks like in that table. We may have to further break down those table into further dimension tables and convert the star schema into a snowflake schema. But for the first iteration, let's keep it like that where we'll merge pizzas and pizza types into a generic table we'll call it as dimension products. Similarly, I can see that right now the date dimension and time dimensions we have to create. Also, one thing I see is that there is no store dimension table, right? So as part of this POC, since we are getting data only from one single store, when the POC is successful and we'll expand it to cater to the entire data warehouse, at that time, multiple store, pizza store will start sending data. So it is good to have a dimension for a store, store as well. So we'll create an additional dimension table and we'll call it as store and we'll create a fact table to calculate the measures like quantity and price is already available. So maybe in future we want to calculate the profits or which order was of higher value. All this information we can calculate. So we'll be creating a fact table as whatever we discuss. If I implement it into a data model, our data model may look something like this. So we have a dimension product, which is nothing, but it's a merge of pizza and pizza type input stage tables. Dimension orders is order and order details. We merged both and we created a dimension for orders. Dimension store, as I said, since as part of this POC, we are starting with only one store. So it may not be very relevant and as we'll scale it to include more stores then this dimension store will start making more sense. I'll propose to keep this dimension store at the start itself, else we may have to bring in a lot of changes at the later stage. Dimension date and dimension date, these are the two static tables, plays a very important role in any data warehouse environment. And then we created a new fact table, we call it fact sales order. It stores primary key from multiple dimension tables. So if you'll also notice, I have added two columns to all the dimension and fact tables, record source and date insert. These two columns will help us in implementing ABC concept as we proceed, which is nothing but audit balance control. So as we proceed, we'll use these two technical columns and we can add more as uh, the need comes. But to start with, let's keep to these two technical columns in all these dimension and fact tables. I have just renamed the existing staging table columns to give it more generic and meaningful name. And I've just merged the two pizza table into a product table rather than calling it as pizza ID or something. I'm calling it as product ID. Similarly for the order, order details and orders, I have merged both, both of those tables and created a single dimension table. By merging these two tables, we may see some redundant entries into our data. And at that time, we have to further split a single dimension table into two dimension table, which we typically do when we break a, st a star schema into a snowflake schema. But for the first iteration, I think we are good to keep it in this way. All this POC and all the project, all the code I'm running in PostgreSQL, 
you can i'll try to keep the code very generic but you can use it to run it in other uh, databases as well